In the equity quadrant today, taking a look at the March British pound futures, which finished the second consecutive trading day with a slight increase as the New York market closed. But let's call it, let's say it barely decreased. Yesterday was a red day on your candlestick charts, but it was actually slightly higher versus the previous day's close. Over the last two sessions, the pound is down about 17 basis points. And today, as we approach a New York close, it's down 18 basis points. So essentially that two day red move on a candlestick chart all took place today. Now it was basically a straight down day. 126.87 was the high, but that was only at four basis points. That's four one hundredths of 1%. So we can call that unchanged versus yesterday's settlement of 126.82. The low 126.23 was down 47 basis points, so almost a half of 1%. So the finish that we got today shows a little bit of a rally off of the lows, actually quite a decent rally off of the lows. UK inflation data has leveled off on a year over year basis, sitting at about 4% on the headline number and Bank of England policymaker and well-known policy hawk, L. Catherine Mann spoke today and wasn't anywhere near aggressive as she's been in her last few speeches where she actually said the Bank of England, the central bank of the UK needed to hike again because going too far to fight inflation was better than not going far enough. Nothing like that was covered by the news media today. So we have to assume that she kind of backed off from that stance, although I would find it very hard to believe that that isn't still her stance when she goes into the next Bank of England policy meeting. Also, yield differentials between the UK and the US leveled off today as they both kind of fell by two basis points in the 10 year sector with the gilts and the US 10 year note, but the dollar still gained slightly and that also put a little bit of a pressure on the British power.